hello everybody and welcome in this video i will show you guys how to upload the data into amazon s3 bucket so s3 is the simple storage service a service offered by amazon web service through the web interface so it will offer scalable storage service into the cloud those who have the amazon account then if you after login to your account you will see this is called the amazon management console as you can see in the screen it is in my name and i am logging into using my name and the reason is sydney so into this uh, amazon web service management console it is my personal account and i have some service which is activated to get free say uh, although it is it gonna be the limited amount of storage say one of the service is called s3 uh, so if we uh, click into the s3 i will it will bring me to the s3 amazon s3 stem i mean places st stages so uh, if this is the this is the screen which I can call Amazon S3 skin. In here, we will. I already have two of the bucket. One is called the this one, and the one is this one. So it is easy to create a bucket into uh, S3. Uh, that bucket will be considered as a storage space into the cloud. So using uh, this bucket, we can easily upload any data file from our hard disk to uh, s3 bucket this this space so say it is easy to create a bucket so let's say we want to create a new bucket called create a bucket so we have to give a name to the bucket i want to name it as a data ela and as a jilani s3 b3 this is just you can use any name i use this name this is the name of the bucket and this is my region of the aws account and this service s3 service we're gonna use as a uh, free free with a free options so uh, i check that uh, block all public ex uh, access so that uh, nobody can use my um, s3 bucket and keeping everything as it is and then if you uh, hit the click bucket the bucket will be created for you into your uh, successfully will be created in your uh, space in your bucket space so we create a uh, uh, successfully we create a bucket and the name of the bucket is i give this one a new name uh, jilani s3 and v3 bucket now let, if you uh, click this uh, bucket you will see that there is no no file so it is easy to upload the data file either csv or um, excel file into s3 bucket the reason we are showing this because using this s3 bucket we will upload the data from this s3 bucket to our snowflake account which is one of the way to upload the data from s3 bucket to the snowflake so uh, now this is uh, my um, bucket let's see which data i want to upload into this space so i have a uh, file into the uh, hard disk say hang on i will open the file for you guys snowflake and then upload data so this is my file as you can see in the screen name of the file is you can customer and this is a csv file type if you uh, double click this file you will see the format of the file which is having some row and columns so, so just give me a sec you have to upload this one still it is working Now this is the file. So this file is having some rows and some call name of the columns, say one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine columns and four, nine columns and 4,015, 4,014 rows. It is a, a in information of uh, about the customer of any bank. So this is the file we would like to upload into the bucket area. So what we have to do is we have to click the upload button and then you have to click the add files. So into that add files, we have to go to uh, the uh, location where we put our file. So this is our file. This, is, this was the location, uh, UK bank customer so open. Now see the system bring the file into this space, which is uh, 21 kilobyte. And then if we click the, the here and then the last click upload. So what will happen is you can see upload is successful, close. So that means uh, we successfully upload the data file into our S3 bucket area. So let's go to the main console. So this is the console of the S3. And where we can see that we recently uh, created a, a bucket name is Gilani S3 B3 and into that bucket we upload a CSV file which is UK customer CSV data file. So into our next video I will show how to upload this data file from S3 this space to the snowflake. Until now enjoy this video those who didn't subscribe to this channel please do so so that I will come back uh, more and more video something like this one. Enjoy this video and goodbye.